So I've got news. Oh no, this isn't new news. In fact, you already know the news. And you might even have felt the news. The market's done really well since April. I mean, like gangbusters. And if you've pulled out that 401k statement and you've looked at it, likely you're back where you were before COVID started. And maybe even you squeaked out a little bit more past that. That's great. What do we do next? You're in a prime opportunity to make some decisions. And so don't miss out on it. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I often see patterns and conversations that I have with my clients and that's when I wanna create videos for you because I feel like they're important financial conversations to have. And so today I'm gonna to be talking about a pattern that I've seen in conversations from where a client is feeling unsettled with where their portfolio was in March and likely is feeling a little bit unsettled with where it is today. The recommendations that I'm giving are completely different from each other. And so that's what we wanna talk about on today's video. But before we get in that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for a regular pleasant financial conversation. So if you would have been that client coming back to me in March and giving me a call and saying, Liz, I'm panicking. I don't know what to do right now. The market is tanking. I need to make some changes in my 401k. What are you telling me? Just tell me what to sell and I will make any changes that you tell me. When I would have received that call, what I have done is told you, let's not do anything. Actually just sit on your hands, try to focus on something else. Let's let the market rebound. And once your portfolio is back to where it was, or if it's grown a little bit, then let's talk about making some changes so that we don't find ourselves in this predicament again. Well, here we are folks. That same client has now reached back out to me uh, where they're saying, hey, okay, um, market's doing well again, but I'm still feeling really anxious with what's coming up in the next six months or the next 18 months. So what should I be doing now? So I'm not telling them to sit on their hands. No, we are making some actual portfolio adjustments because of two reasons. The first is that portfolios get way out of whack after a big market correction. So you might have portions of your portfolio that are too large or that are too small. And if they're out of alignment like that, just think of like your, your spine. If they're align, out of alignment, then your body can't move in the same way. Well, same thing with your portfolio. It's not gonna grow in the same way. And so you need to make sure that it's rebalanced and back in sync and alignment. But the other portion is that when we have a significant market event like we did in March, it really reveals to the surface what your emotions are and what your capability is for holding some aggressive investments. And so if you had some pretty high anxiety, you had some sleepless nights, or you had some heavy conversations about like, what am I doing with my portfolio right now? Uh, is this all going away? Like all of the, all of the angst in that. Then now is a good time to revisit what's an appropriate allocation for me with my real true feelings about investing. Because when it's all sunshiny outside, we can all be fair weather friends of investments. But when the rain hits and the thunderstorm comes, well, that's when you really see how you should be investing. So now that the market has recouped, your portfolios have come back, it's a good time to lean into your investments to really make sure that it's right size the way that it needs to be. Now you might be sitting there thinking, oh, this is me. This is me. I was panicking in March and I'm still feeling unsettled now, but I really have no idea what to do. And if you're feeling unsettled and also don't have the confidence to implement some of these things to get everything back in alignment, that's really where you need to be having a good candid conversation with someone that you trust that can help you realign that portfolio. And of course, I'm here. I've got those pleasant financial conversations that you're always welcome to tap into. So what does that look like? If, you, that, if you're saying, hey, that's me, well, I'm getting ready to roll out a program that's going to help those who are ready to really engage with their finances. It's gonna be fast paced and a way for you to feel like really confident about what you're doing with your money to make sure that not only your investments are realigned the way that you want, but that your money story is matching what you're doing in your day to day. So if that sounds intriguing to you, you're welcome to reach out to me via a private message, either on LinkedIn or on Facebook through the company page, Pleasant Wealth or my personal page, Liz Hand. Um, and we'll get that conversation going of what it would look like for you to start leaning into your finances, to start feeling some clarity about what's going on in your future, and to really feel good about what you're doing in the next six months. Go ahead and reach out to me on one of those platforms, and we'll be happy to get into that conversation. All right, friends, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're able to socially distance, but also be outside and enjoy nature and all of the good things that nature has in store for us. But until next time, friends, you take care.